Okay, so let us look at this uh, problem. So we have two random variables, x and y, with the uh, joint PD, uh, PMF, excuse me, uh, is given in this table. And uh, it asks us those questions. So first to figure it out, uh, what is the probability that x is less or equal than 2 uh, and y is greater than 1? Right, and then figure out what is the marginal PMF of x and y, and then what is conditional probability, uh, and then lastly, trying to figure out okay, are those two are are uh, independent or not? Okay, so let's start uh, one by one. Uh, I'll move a little bit further. Uh, the first one. So the probability that x is less or equal than 2, y is greater than 1. Uh, noticing that the range for the y is just a 1 or 2, right? Uh, and then the range for x is uh, 1, 2, and 4 here. So this probability, actually for the x part, it includes two cases, either x equals 1 or 2. But for the y is greater than 1, Odin contains the situation where y equals 2 only. Uh, and uh, so it's easy to figure out this is the probability x equals 1, or y equals 2, right? And then plus the probability of x equals 2, or y equals 2. And we we'll just uh, look at those tables here, so you can see x1, y is 2, so it's 1 over 12. Uh, x equals 2, y equals 2, which is, uh, well, it's a 0, huh? So it gives us this 1 over 12. That's easy. So the next one is uh, I'll figure out what is the marginal PMF. So the marginal PMF, uh, so first, if we're looking for the marginal PMF of x, which if you remember the definition, uh, it is the joint PMF, right? But uh, we are uh, doing a uh, summation across all the y inside of its uh, uh, range. So put it together here as you as you can see it's pretty easy to to compute right so when x equals uh, one so we know that the probability is just uh, the add of those two so it's a uh, third plus one over twelve. So it gives us is uh, 4 over 12 plus 1 over 12, so it's a 5 over 12. The probability will actually equals 2, so it's just uh, 1 over 6. Probability will actually equal 4, which is 1 over 12 plus 1 over 3. Okay. 1 over 3. So easily you can calculate it, it's uh, also 5 or 12. Okay. So we can, uh, I think we can write it, we can do this, right? So we can write it down, the marginal PMF for x, so it's a 5 over 12, x equals 1, 1 over 6, x equals 2, and then 5 over 12, and x equals 4, okay? And similarly, we can handle the situation P of Y equals 1, which is the sum of those 3. So it's 1, 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12. Mm, so that gives us is 4 over 12 plus 2 over 12 plus 1 over 12, which uh, gives us what? Which gives us the 7 over 12. Okay. And uh, we can 
uh, easily to compute the well, y equals 2. Again, it's the sum of the three, but also uh, since the marginal PM of the sum is also uh, equals 1 here, so you can see it's also 5 um, over 12. So the when y equals 1, y equals 2. Okay, that's the um, marginal PM. Part C is to figure out what is the conditional probability uh, of y equals 2 given x equals 1. So based on the conditional probability it equals the probability that y equals 2 and x equals 1 over you know the probability that x equals 1 right the probability x equals 1 is right here is 5 over 12 on the bottom uh, well y equals 2 x equals 1 it's this one right so it's 1 over 12 so put it together give us this 1 over 5 okay and then lastly it asks us, hey, are those two are independent? So how do we uh, how do we check? Well, actually, we can borrow some result because from part C, the probability, conditional probability of uh, y equals two, given x equals one, if uh, you know x y are are independent for this situation. Uh, we're gonna have that it equals to py equals two because that means that x has no effect about the y, right? But for here, from step three, we draw this as y over five. Uh, excuse me. But for here, py equals two, we know that, which is right here, which is five over twelve. There's a five over twelve. So clearly those two are different, right? So we can immediately get the conclusion. So it's a no. So so not uh, independent. I want to be very clear about this is uh, uh, even if these two um, equals does not mean that uh, you know x y gonna be uh, independent. Why? Because it is very, very difficult to show that two variables are independent because you have to go across with all the combinations of x and y and then uh, to show that these are um, independent for every x and y. But if it's a show to not independent, it's a simple enough as long as you can make sure that um, you know this conditional probability does not equal to the without conditional one and then you will see that okay uh, it is not independent for sure okay so that's that's the first part now uh, I want to uh, discuss uh, another question here it, uh, it says like uh, like this so uh, we can have the uh, same of x and y but let me let me put it down this this new question here okay so this is the question so x and y are exactly same defined here but the question slightly different uh, is uh, we're going to introduce a new variable, okay? So this new variable, um, it is z, is defined as x minus 2y, okay? Um, and then we can uh, figure out that uh, uh, what is the PMF for z first, and then what is the conditional probability that x equals 2 given that z equals 0 okay so that's uh, that, that's the problem okay that's a problem okay. so
so let me put it here how far you can still can take a look at this now the problem here is uh, z is defined as x minus 201 okay so as you can see the different values of x and y will give you different values of z right so we can mimic this We can mimic this, okay. So since when x equals 1, y equals 1, do you agree that z is going to equal to 1 minus 2, so it's minus 1, right? So when x equals 2, y equals 1, so it's 2 minus 2 is going to become 0. Um, and when x equals 4, y equals 1, so this equals 2, z equals 2. Uh, when x equals 1, y equals 2, so this is going to be negative 3. When uh, x equals 2, y equals 2, so this equals to negative uh, 2, right? And then when x equals 4, well, y equals 2, so it's uh, 4 minus 2 times 2, so this part is also give us this is 0, okay? Um, so, so correspondingly, as you can see that the value uh, of z, or the range of z, you, you have five values, right? You have five values. So the range of z, it's negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 2. So correspondingly, if we want to figure out okay, what is the PMF for for Z it's gonna be uh, when X equals negative 3 so uh, Z equals negative 3 right uh, then this is uh, negative 2 it's this case Z equals negative 2 so corresponding to 0 z equals negative 1 that's 1 over 3 with the probability uh, z equals 0 so as you can see that it's a, you're going to be it's going to be the sum of those two right so it's a 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 um, that will give us it's a 1 over 2 actually <laughs> 1 over 2 and then z equals 2 so it's this case so it's a 1 uh, so that's the PMF for my Z. That's that's part of A. Okay. Part B. It asks us, okay, what is the conditional uh, probability? So it's a P of X equals two and Z equals zero over the probability that Z equals zero. Right. So the probability that z equals zero we already figured out from the previous PMF. So it's uh, equals to one over two. On the top, when z uh, when x equals two, um, and uh, z equals zero. So do you realize that we can only have this happens. So correspondingly, uh, the probability is going to be uh, 1 over 6. So put that to 1 over 6 into here. So realizing that this give us is uh, 1 over 3. Okay, so that uh, finished this problem. Okay, so that's, that, that, that answers uh, this problem. Okay, cool.